Welcome back to another week of the Pokemon Premier League. Today is week 8 and our team, the Wolverhampton Weavers, is facing off against Matthew Drafts and his team, the Cotswold Whimsicarts. Now, I'm in a bit of a rush, so I don't have time for a team builder. As you can see, this is already a day late for health reasons. But a pokey paste is in the description of my team, so feel free to check it out. As usual, be sure to go check out all the PPL Draft League coaches. Links are in the description. And without further ado, let's jump into the game. Okay, Matthew and the Whimsicarts. Let's... Well, he's not brought the trap inch, so that's a, a shame. Uh, I, was, I was looking forward to facing a trap inch with his, like, first impression shenanigans, but oh well. It's fine. Um, let's see what they've brought. So, Electivire, Empoleon, Mianxiao, Skarmory, Slowking, and Cloyster. Terra Captain means uh, Cloyster and the Electivire, so that's going to be tough to figure out which one's which one's going to be the, the right one. I think I think it's going to be Electivire, personally. I really think it's going to be Electivire because Electivire has, um, if I remember rightly, it's uh, Ice, Flying, and Grass. Grass could be really useful for the Palafin. Electric and Ghost for the uh, Cloyster, not so much. So um, let's leave with Palafin just to get that up and ready to go. And then we'll just go with, um, we'll go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck out for Matthew. So he's going to lead off with Netero. The Mienchao, that's a really cool nickname for a Mienchao. Nice and Hunter Hunter reference. Um, so I led off with Palafin just because I wanted to get that hero form straight away. I don't actually have flip turn. I just wanted to get it let off with, you know what I mean? Um, so uh, what do we switch into? Um, probably going to have to be the Thunderous if I had to make a wild guess. Um, Scrafty, we have got Intimidate for stuff like this and the Electivire, but we have to be careful of that Empoleon. I know this. I am going to be careful, but no my luck, it's going to happen. And we're going to give it that competitive boost. So... Do we go Thunderous or do we go... Well, we do resist with Iron Moth, but we don't have the... It doesn't get Earthquake. Probably going to go for a knockoff, if anything. Probably going to go for a U-turn, to be honest with you. But I think Thunderous puts us in a bit of a better position, so I am going to go Thunderous. Um, Thunderous is a bit more bulky than Iron Moth as well on the physical side, so we can definitely take a hit better if they do decide to go for a knockoff. So uh, let's go Thunderous now, like so. They go for a U-turn as expected. That's fine. We can take that. We resist that. That's fine. We got the we got the Palafin in and ready to go. We got the Palafin in and ready to go. That's that's the important part. That's the important part. Now, they either go Electivire straight up or they go Skarmory to bait an electric time move. Rambo. That's gonna be the Electivire, right? Yeah, thought so. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. So, um, I w I, w I don't know what to do here. Um, I want to go straight Scrafty, but the Cross Shop is a thing that could be real. Or bulk up or anything like that. I think I think I'm better off going into because they wouldn't supercell slam here. If anything, they go Empoleon predicting the Scrafty. So is Espeon the best shout? Espeon could be the best shout. Or Earthstring could be good. Earthstring's pretty good. Earthstring's pretty good with the Earthquake and everything. It handles the Empoleon pretty well as well. I think I go I think I go Espeon. Expecting either a fighting type move. Predicting the Scrafty. Or a Empoleon switch, and then we can trick it. Because I don't think I need my choice specs this game. Let's go with the Espeon switch. Let's go with the Espeon switch. I think that's the way to go forward with this. So we've got Thunderous. We'll go Espeon, Dazzler. There we go. Knock off. Ah! And that's a KO. Straight up. Espeon goes down. So that's Terra Captain out of the way. Wasn't expecting the knockoff, um, to be honest with you. Wasn't expecting the knockoff at all. But at least we can go Scrafty now and get the Intimidate off. That's the main thing, right? They might be Adrenaline Orb, but I doubt it. But I think they're banded. <laughs> I think they're banded based on that damage, so... Um, that's, a, that's a rocky start. A rocky start. So, I could get a big knockoff right now. I think that's most optimal. Looking at the team, there's nothing that's going to benefit from a Dark Time move. No Justified Mons. Um, so, let's go for a knockoff. I think that's for the best. They do withdraw the Electrovire, proving it's probably banded for a start. Mazotan comes in. The Skarmory, nice and shiny as well. We go for a knockoff. That's going to get rid of whatever item it's got, of course, which is going to be the Rocky Helmet. So we knock off the Rocky Helmet, which is nice. We break the Sturdy, which is nice. Uh, double nice. Um, now we have to switch out. So this thing could have Drill Run. So I have to be careful with the Iron Moth. I think Thunderous is the ultimate switch here. So I am going to go into the uh i'm gonna go into the fundy i think thunderous is the best way to go around this 
So we're going to switch out Scrafty. We do switch out first, which tells me they haven't switched out themselves at least. They more than likely go for a Spikes or a Stealth Rocks here. But we do have Heavy Duty Boots on our most important Wheat to Rocks Pokemon like Iron Moth and this thing. So I'm not too worried. Now, we wouldn't go for a Thunderbolt here when there's an Electivire right there, right? I don't think I'd lose much from going for a Focus Blast or a Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse just in case they go Sloking. I think I'll go Dark Pulse. I don't, this Skarmory can't touch us. So I don't have to worry about the Skarmory. I'm worried about what it's going to switch into. They do withdraw. Are they going to go Electivire to try and get that motor drive? That makes more sense. Kuraha. That's going to be the um, Sloking, right? Yeah, Sloking. I thought so. Um, Dark Pulse comes through. They do have the Berry. I can't remember what the Berry's called. Which makes that do nothing. Colba Berry, that's the one. Right, so we've used the berry at least. Now, do they expect the Scrafty Lee a uh, switch? And go into Empoleon? I guess we could go into Ursaring. Ursaring pretty much what well, like cannot be touched by this thing. And we can just go for Earthquakes, right? Um because if they go Empoleon here expecting the Scrafty. I think we go I think we go Ursaring. I think Ursaring is a fine one. So we withdraw Thunderous. Because we lost Espeon early on, so we're gonna have to make some plays. We're gonna have to make some plays. Uh, we go Teddy, the Ursa Ring. Get some Stealth Rock shit, which is fine. They do go for a Chili Reception. I think I, I should have known they would go for a Chili Reception there instead. I was worried about the Ice Beam there. That's why I hard switched instead of going for the attack. I was worried about the Ice Beam. Because um, it could have had Ice Beam for all I knew. Alright, Netero comes back in the uh, Mian Xiao. We obviously can't Terra this thing because it's not a Terra Captain. We're going to get slammed in the face with a close combat right now. There's nothing I can do about it. Except go Fundy. It's unnecessary damage, but it's a switch regardless. I guess we're going to have to go Fundy again. We, we have got the Heavy Duty Boots, so Stealth Rocks aren't really a problem, so that's fine. But we go Fundy. Once again, they do go for a close combat, which is fine. Does a lot of damage, but it's fine. Pretty sure we live one more of those. Pretty confident we live one more of those. They're going to expect us to go for the good, for the jugular and KO here. Um, I think our best bet is Sludge Wave because they're probably going to go Electivire if, if they do switch. So I'm going to go Sludge Wave. I'm going to go for the Sludge Wave. I don't think they go Sloking here. They do withdraw. Are they going to go the Electivire switch? Are they going to make the bold Electivire switch? Yeah, Rambo, that's the Electivire. That's great. That's great. So we made the right play. By going for the Sludge Wave. Predicting the Electivire. That did no damage. Am I not bloody EV trained or something? No, I am. I'm definitely EV trained. We need to get Palafin in. Palafin can do a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna make the Scrafty switch. Um just because I feel like that's the way to go forward. I feel like the Scrafty switch is the way to go forward. So stones do begin. We get the Intimidate off, which is great. They go for a knockoff. That's going to knock off our Citrus Berry, but it's fine because it does no damage. Which means we get a free knockoff again. Or we can go for a Dragon Tail, potentially. Shuffle them into something they don't want to be into. Um, or we can go for a Drain Punch to get some health back. Because they're probably going to go Skarmory. Let's go Drain Punch just to get some health back from the Skarmory. Because they're going to go Skarmory. They have to go Skarmory here. Mazotan comes in. Yeah, Skarmory comes in. So we get we get some nice chip on the Skarmory, which is always great. There we go. Some nice chip on the Skarmory, which is always nice. And um, the snow is going to stop, of course. And now I, I kind of expect them to go for a spike. So I'm going to go for a Dragon Tail. Gonna go for a Dragon Tail here. I don't think they'll go for a Brave. They go for a Brave Bird. They go straight for the Brave Bird. Straight for the Jugular. But we get some chip on that, and that's gonna be important. Chip's gonna be important here. Chip's gonna be important here because I don't mind Scrafty going down to whatever the next mod is. Now that the damage has been done to the Skarmory, we're in a very good position. So Sloking comes in. That's a great switch for us because we get a free knockoff off again. And even if it's the even if the Skarmory comes in, it's it's. it's Chip damage on the Skarmory at the end of the day. So they withdraw again. Are they going to go back into Skarmory? Could we have predicted this and gone Thunderous? Mazatan comes in again. No, no, we don't need to predict this and go Thunderous. It's fine. 
Like I said, I'm relying on Palafin here. Palafin's are definitely our wink on here. A free knockoff off on this thing is fine. Um, now I'm going to go Fundy. No. Do we let Scrafty go down? No, because Intimidate could still be really useful. I think we can, we can switch Thunderous in here. It's fine. We can switch Thunderous in. It's fine. If we know they're going to go for a Brave Bird, they've got Brave Bird and Stealth Rocks. They've probably got Whirlwind so that Palafin can't set up. Body press even better. We're going to live that. We live in that. So now... Now we can go for a Dark Pulse, and it should KO the Skarmory. It'll do a lot of damage to everything on the team, really. So let's go for the Dark Pulse. They withdraw the Skarmory. They don't want it to go down. Are they going to go into the Electivire again? Kuraha. That's going to be the, um, the, 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 the Slow King. So we go for a Dark Pulse this time on the Slow King. That's great. Nice bit of damage on the Slow King. I'm just going to say YOLO and go for a Dark Pulse again. At this point, we need to start playing more aggressively. So I'm just going to start playing more aggressively. So they withdraw. They just hard switch. They don't want to take the extra damage. That's fine. And they're going to go to Netero, which is the Mian Xiao. We get some damage on this. It's fine. Again, we break potential Focus Sash, which I doubt they are. Still nice damage. Still nice damage. They're probably Scarfed. Um, let's go into Scrafty. Let's go Scrafty. So we withdraw Thunderous. We go Big Scrafty, Big Scrafty. Kerrang. Get the Intimidate off on the Mian Xiao, like so. Stones do dig in, unfortunately, but it's fine. We get the Intimidate off the Mian Xiao. So if they do take us out here, which they haven't, they've gone for a U-turn, at least we get some momentum on whatever they bring in next. So we got the they got the K on the Scrafty with the Mian Xiao. They're looking good. They're looking good. Can we cheese this with Palafin, though? I'm, I'm wondering if we can do this with Palafin, because they haven't revealed the Empoleon at all. But the Empoleon's Grass Knot will sting a little bit, but... All right, Kurohai comes in again, which is, of course, the Slow King. Um, is it time for Ursaring? Ursaring could do some stuff here with Earthquake, Body Slam shenanigans. Um, Ursaring does pretty well against their team in general. I'd like to keep it healthy, but at the same time, this might be a perfect opportunity for it to get a Body Slam off and get some Power Hacks, maybe. Um, Earthquake hits everything really hard except from the Skarmory, but the Skarmory's nearly dead, and it's going to be a Body Press set, so do we assume they haven't got Drill Run? To hit the Iron Moth. Brave Bird will still sting a little bit. I say we sack off Thunderous. Alright, let's go Teddy. Uh, let's go Ursa Ring. I say, I say we... Um, if they bring... When they bring the Skarmory in, we sack off Thunderous. I say that. Um, just just, just because why not? <laughs> at this point, I'm just like throwing, throwing stuff at the wall and hoping it sticks. Um... Let's go for an EQ expecting a chili reception, because I feel like they're chili, but they don't chili, that's fine. Um, they do go straight into the uh, the uh, Skarmory, Mazatan. It's fine. I could have predicted that I'm going for a body slam, but it doesn't really matter because it would have done no damage, and I probably wouldn't have got the power hacks no my luck. But I guess we'll never know now. Um either way, even if I body slam there, I was gonna do this, which is go into Thunderous. And the reason being is because I want to get Palafin in at this point. I just want to get Palafin in at this point. So we'll withdraw Ursa Ring. We'll withdraw Ursa Ring. We're going to Fundy. Body press comes through. That's going to KO Thunderous. That's fine. People are going to be wondering, why? how does Skarmory KO Thunderous? Like, <laughs> well, this is how. This is how. So we can go Iron Moth freely here. And self substitute. I think I will do that. I think I'll go Iron Moth and self substitute. They, they, they go hard into um, Slow King here anyway. So um, I, and as long as they don't have Psychic and they have Future Sight, we're all right. So let's go. Let's go for a substitute here. I don't see any reason not to. Even if they attack us here, at least we know they're going to attack us, and then we can just KO it with Fiery Dance. Yeah, they withdraw. That's fine. We get a free substitute. That's great. It's absolutely fantastic. Pen Pen comes in. That's going to be the Cloister, right? That's the Empoleon. Substitute up. It's fine. Absolutely fine. We can get some power hacks here, which could be potential, but I don't really want to do that. But I'm going to go for the discharge anyway, because we have it to hit Empoleon. Aqua Jet's fine. It's going to break the substitute, which is great for them. Absolutely great for them. So now that we've got, now that we've deduced they have Aqua Jet, we get a discharge off, which is great. We get the power hacks, which is nice. That's really nice. It's clean as, that's clean as heck. And now we switch out into Palafin. We don't want to get hit by an Aqua Jet, that's for sure. 
Um, do we want to go Earthstring instead? Earthstring could be good. No, we, no, this is a good opportunity to get Palafin in. Let's get Palafin in now. So we withdraw Mothra. We're going to get some Stealth Rock chip, but it's fine because hopefully we'll get a Drain Punch off and restore that. So All Might comes in. This is where we bring uh, Palafin in. I sh probably should have got Palafin earlier than this, but it's fine. But yeah, this is like the perfect opportunity. A Paralyzed Empoleon? That's great. They actually withdraw. They predict this. And they get Rambo again. Uh, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I guess the best bet to do here is to go into the Earth Ring again. Yeah, I guess we go Earth Ring here because we can't stay in with Palafin, that's for sure. So we have to withdraw into Earth Ring. We can't stay in and take a Supercell Slam to the face or a Thunderbolt if they're mixed. I doubt they're mixed banded, but Supercell Slam's coming our way right now. Oh, they withdrew. Okay, they make, a, they make their own withdrawal. They're, they're reading me like a book. Okay. And that's got to be the Cloyster. Nice and shiny. Looking for that Shell Smash sweep. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go for a Body Slam here. They withdraw. Okay, so they don't want a Shell Smash. What are they going to do? Skarmory? Mazatan, the Skarmory comes in. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we go for a Body Slam. We could get Parahax here, which would be nice. That actually does a nice chunk of damage. Is it worth just staying in? No, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go straight to Iron Moth. They won't expect me to go straight Iron Moth and Brave Bird, will they? They'll go for a Body Slam here. A Body Press, sorry. So we withdraw Ursa Ring. Which is fine. We're going Iron Moth. Um, this opens up a way of getting Palafin in, so I'm happy with that. They go for a Roost, that's fine. Roost is fine. Roost is very fine. Um, Because we can just Fiery Dance here. I don't see why not. If we get a special type boost, that'd be amazing. Let's go for a Fiery Dance. Do we draw? We get a free Fiery Dance off on something at least. And that's going to be Kuraha, which is going to be, of course, the Slow King. We go for a Fiery Dance. If we can get a boost, that'd be nice. No boost. No boost. But we do have Ursa Ring to switch into if we want to. Um, so I'm not too worried about this. I'm going to go Ursa Ring because I don't think they'll go for a Chili. Because they won't want to get... They won't want to... No, because I have to switch out there, right? So they go for a chili, right? But it's fine. Thunder wave. Even better. Even better. So I'm glad I didn't go Palafin there for a start. Um, I am going to rest. Just because they're going to switch out into Skarmory anyway. So we may as well rest. Right? Yeah, Mazatan comes in. Skarmory. Mazatan the Skarmory comes in. We go for a rest. Which is great. We get some health back. There we go. And we've got Sleep Talk. So we've got Guts as well, which is great. So um, we're versing back up to full health. We're looking a bit better. I think we're going to have to make the ballsy play of going hard Palafin here. And bulk up Taunt. I think that's the way we're going to have to do, do this. I can't go Iron Moth because they're going to predict that I go Brave Bird right now. Let's go um, Palafin. Let's go Palafin, 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 Palafin. Go into Palafin. And I have to start bulking up on this thing. There we go. Palafin comes in. We bulk up. We go for a body press. Let's see how much it does. Not too much damage. Not too much damage. Um, let's bulk up here. Let's bulk up here. They withdraw. They withdraw. And they're going to go Ioki G, which is, of course, the Cloyster. That's fine. We get bulk up up, which is double fine. This thing doesn't get anything like, um, I'm going to taunt it because I don't want it to shell smash for a start. I don't want it to spike shell smash. I don't want it to do any iron defense stuff. I don't want it to anything like that. I'm just going to taunt it. It doesn't get freeze dry, I don't believe. So they are going to terror this thing. So they're going to terror blast. If they're special, it's over. If they're special, it's over. Yes, it's electric special. It's over. It's Jova. Unless they don't have Terror Blast and they're just doing this for the defensive purposes. So I'm going to taunt, stop them from Shell Smashing. They go for the Terror Blast though. Hopefully it's physical and we might actually take it. We do take it, which is nice. But unfortunately, that's as far as it goes. We do not take that anymore. Um, so, <sighs> bloody hell. Let's go for a Drain Punch. So we go for a Drain Punch just to get some damage. Um, just to get some health. 
pretty much all I can really do here. And let them take out Palafin. Now, with the damage we've dealt to it, Iron Moth could do something, I guess. We, we can't Shell Smash at least. So, um, we can't go Ursaring because if we get Sleep Talk into Rest like two times, then that's going to be really annoying. We can go Iron Moth at least. They probably have Skill Link with Rock Blast or something along those lines. Um, but instead of sub subbing up, I'm just going to go for a Fiery Dance here. They probably go Slow King if they do switch out. They do withdraw, that's fine. If we can get a special attack boost here, we'll be all right. Kuraha comes in. That's the Slow King. So if we can get a special attack boost here, we're fine. That we get a crit, that's nice. No special attack boost. Let's go for a sub. Let's go for a sub. Just for the sake of subbing, because they're either going to go for a Chili, a Thunder Wave, or an offensive move like Size Shock. They go for the Chili, that's fine. That's fine. Unfortunately, we're in range for Aqua Jet from Empoleon. But we get a free Discharge on, off on it, and we could Parahax it, to be fair. Right, Rambo comes through. The Electivire comes through. We go for a Fiery Dance here all the time, right? We go for a Fiery Dance here all the time. And if we manage to get a crit, which won't KO anyway, but if we manage to get a crit, that'd be nice. <laughs> and a special attack boost. <laughs> Come on. Thunder Punch, that's fine. Thunder Punch is fine. Substitute's gonna fade. It's all good. I'm just happy we got a KO. That's all I'm happy about. Let's go for another Fiery Dance. Unless they switch into Empoleon here. Um, so we have to hope that we get Parahax on the Empoleon. We have to hope we get another Fiery Dance boost here. Uh, that'd be nice. No Fiery Dance boost though. That's fine. Kuraha comes in. Okay, the Slow King comes in again. Okay. Not the Empoleon. We're Aqua Gels. Let's sub up again. Let's just see what this thing wants to do. Let's play safe and sub up. We can do one more sub after this, so it's fine. Size shock. Size shock. Okay. 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 Not bad. We could definitely still use um, Iron Moth. We can definitely still use Iron Moth here. So I'm going to burn off some sleep turns with Ursaring. I think that's the way to go forward here. I'm going to burn off some sleep turns with Ursaring. So we'll go Teddy. Stones do the game, which is fine. Side shot comes through, that's fine. It's not gonna do much damage to us. The snow stopped. We go back into Iron Mafia. They would not expect that. They go Skarmory here, 100%. This is an uphill battle, so I'm gonna just make the play. I'm gonna go for it. Um, I don't think they want to take a guts boosted earthquake. That's for sure. They tell a chillingly bad joke. That's fine. As long as they don't go into anything that isn't, because they're going to switch into something that's not sloking here. So that's kind of good for my AI mop, um, which is the main thing I'm doing here. So let's see what they go for. Um, hopefully we see Cloyster or Empoleon. Empoleon would be nice. Netero comes in. That's going to be the main child. They are definitely Choice Scarf if that's the case. They are definitely Choice Scarf if that's the case. So I guess we just go for a Fiery Dance. No, the Regenerator as well. Does Dazzling Gleam do more than Fiery Dance here? I think it does. Fire Dance could boost us. I think we sub just in case they close combat. And we do our speed. Let's sub just in case we do our speed. Nah, they outspeed us. That's fine. That's GG. That's GG because Mian Shao just cleans up now, right? Mian Shao just cleans up now, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Choice Scarfed. So I guess there is a chance that Earthring lives. Um, with the health he's got left. I, I guess, without Kelking, I guess there's a chance that Ring lives. But there's no point Kelking at this point. This is the last turn, so let's go for a Sleep Talk. Close combat comes through, that's going to KO us. It does indeed. Ring goes down, that's going to be the game. So GG Matthew, that was a long game. That was a long game. 32 minutes I've got recording it from Team Preview to now. Um, but GG Matthew, that was a good one. You really prepped really well. You did really well there. Um, I definitely didn't prep as well as I should have done, and I didn't play as well as I should have done, but you definitely played really well, so GG.